This video will focus on solving this question, which relates to the chapter we've been doing about expanding and factorizing. So we have this rectangle and part A asks us to use brackets and write the formula for the area of this specific rectangle. So the area of a rectangle is length times width, so we can represent this by a multiplication sign, 3 times 2x minus 1. However, this is a messy notation. We need brackets as the question asks, so we need to put brackets around this because you're multiplying 3 by this whole expression. We also don't like to use too many notations in math, so we need to reduce this to 3, 2x minus 1, which is something we're familiar with and we see regularly. Now this is part A, for part B, it asks us to expand the brackets we just made. So we can easily do that. If you're still not comfortable with expanding brackets, always use arrows to demonstrate which multiplications you have to do first. So 3 times 2x, we multiply the coefficients, so 3 times 2, that's 6. The x is not being multiplied by anything else, so it stays as it is. 3 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 3. So we've expanded the brackets. Now it says the area of the rectangle is 15 centimeters square. Show that 6x minus 18 equals to 0. With questions that involve show that, it might be a bit confusing as to how you should start the questions and the question and how you should end it. So always start with what you know right now. Well, we know that this represents the area of the rectangle. And what they're telling us is that the area is 15. So I know that the area is represented by 6x minus 3. And this should be equal to 15. Let's just fix that. Okay, 15. So we know that the area has to be equal to 15. Now we can easily or kind of see how we can get from 6x minus 3 equals 15 to 6x minus 18 equals to 0. The first hint is that you want 0 on the right hand side. So using the balancing method, I'm going to subtract 15 from both sides. So I get 6x minus 3 minus 15 equals to, well, 15 minus 15, that's 0. I'm going to simplify this expression. Negative 3 minus 15, that's minus 18 equals to 0. If you're still confused about subtracting negatives, I always recommend using a number line. So if you're at negative 3 and you're taking away 15, so you're going to move down the number line. And if you can count along, you'll notice 15 times, you'll notice you'll get to negative 18, or you should get to negative 18. And this gets us to the final step. Again, with questions that involve show that, you need to show all your steps. So you need to have this expression first, that you understand that the area is equal to 15, and you need to show the process you went through to get to 18.